Let's uh, talk about toxicity now. This is Dr. Cannell with the Vitamin D Council. Um, I predict that there will be more and more cases of vitamin D toxicity uh, as the years go on uh, because people think if 5,000 is good for them, 50,000 is uh, better, and, and it's not. Uh, uh, the uh, 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 toxicity of vitamin D is related to its uh, role with uh, uh, calcium magnesium as far as we uh, calcium uh, uh, economy as far as we know uh, in lots of ways very little is known about uh, vitamin D toxicity because uh, uh, most of the cases were in the 30s and the 40s uh, and uh, the cases that exist uh, and there are some that exist in, in the last 20 years uh, um, I didn't uh, extensively test these uh, toxic uh, patients. Um, but what appears to happen is around, and it varies from person to person. It could happen in some person, uh, people with a level of 150, uh, and it, it uh, will happen in just about everybody with a level of 300. But, but what happens is that it impairs your calcium, calcium economy. And um, I can't tell you the reasons why, because it's a... Uh, it's, uh, uh, it, it hasn't been published yet, but uh, for, 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 re for good, good reasons, I believe that the first uh, uh, symptom of vitamin D toxicity will, that will be that you urinate out your bones. Uh, by that I mean that the uh, calcium in your bones will be leached out and you're, you'll urinate it out. Uh, you won't know that that's happening. Uh, you might not learn of it for years and years and years when you get uh, finally get a, a bone scan and uh, you're on your 50,000 units of vitamin D or 20,000 units of vitamin D and, um, and uh, you're much to your surprise you have a, a demineralized bones. Um, so uh, uh, toxicity is asymptomatic. Uh, true toxicity in which you get uh, physical symptoms is incredibly rare and it's uh, mainly related to the GI tract uh, intractable uh, nausea and then uh, uh, then vomiting uh, but the uh, the uh, uh, the biochemical symptoms the silent symptoms uh, occur way before that uh, and that's why uh, uh, we should never exceed a level of fit of 100 nanograms per milliliter